Uh, it was all self-inflicted wounds, you know. Um, uh, Minnesota did a great job, uh, you know. When, when you get this deep into the conference and into play, guys are not going to try to scheme you up. They're going to play what they play, and uh, just they believe that they do what they do better than we do what we do. So it was all self-inflicted wounds. It took us a while to settle down, to get into a rhythm. So um, just having to stay focused and kind of refocus at some points. Uh, I mean, below average, my opinion. Go ahead and hear, yeah. right, Tim? Cardio, uh, what was it like to break free, though, in that 38-yard 30 38 yard <laughs> touchdown run, which kind of pretty much sealed the day? I was uh, <laughs> kind of waiting on somebody to block that turf monster. Almost it tripped me up. But uh, it, it was cool because I, I knew that was a nail in the coffin. You know, our defense was playing kind of lights out the whole night, even though they gave up a, a couple of big plays and some missed assignments, but it happens. But I knew um, after that it was kind of over. Far left over here, Doug. Cordell, I know you just wanted to win the game tonight, but did you also feel like you were trying to make your case to be the starting quarterback no. going forward? No. Why not? I was trying to make my case, trying to do what I have to do to help my team win. What do you think that decision will be like for Coach Meyer this week? That's a question for him. Uh, over here, Austin. Cardell, as part of that, you know, helping the team win, it seems like you have a little bit better rushing ability than people generally give you credit for. Do you, do you want to be able to run? ball more, maybe as much as JT gets to it at times? Um, I want to do whatever it takes to help the team win. I mean, if, if it costs for, you know, um, having the ball off or throwing it downfield or running the ball myself, whatever it takes to help the team win. How would you evaluate your, your rushing skills? Definitely not as well as JT's. Uh, I'm not as quick, but, I mean, kind of hard to tackle. But, I mean, still, it kind of <laughs> takes me about 10 or 12 yards to get my speed kicking. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, back row left. Uh, Cardell, how do you how, how do you maintain your your confidence when uh, kind of being pulled out and pulled in and called on upon in in, in a situation like this? But kind of some of the things you went through with the fans and whomever, but yet maintain your confidence and come out here and do the things that you do. What do you do internally to, to maintain that? I, I, didn't, I didn't go through anything with uh, nobody outside the facility in our program because no one outside the facility in the program has an effect on me or my lifestyle or this team. So um, within our program, basically staying focused, just understanding what happened last year. So understanding always, you know, I can be a play away or, you know, the guy behind me can be a play away. And that, that, that's what keeps me, that's what keeps my edge. Okay, and the last question over here to the right, Clay. Darnell, did you, uh, do you urge them to let's throw deep more? Uh, I realize last year's last year, different team, different set of receivers, but it seemed like you were hitting that ball uh, at least they went to it more often in the second half. Um, yeah, because uh, and that, that was just a style of defense Minnesota was playing. You know, I think they were down three scores at that time, and they knew you know, they had to get the ball back in the hands of their offense because their offense were um, – they were kind of taking steps in the right direction, so they was loading the box trying to stop the run. So, I mean, the only option is to you know, try to take the ball over the head.